Hi everyone, let's get straight into things with this Halloween makeup look. We're going for a mermaid look here. Start off with your face primer, get that all over the skin and let it sit. Now on the lid I'm adding a very light transition color. This just makes things easier to blend. Taking a yellow I am mapping out the shape of my eyelid. Then with an angled brush I am just going to take a dark green color and slowly map out a winged cut crease. Make sure you blend the edges. Follow that up with a darker shade of green and a thinner brush. We are going to continue to map this out until it is nice and defined, blending the edges where necessary. Add a nice shimmery color to redefine the lid and then follow that up by connecting the liner to the lash line using that same dark green. Now with a pencil, I'm further defining. You can continue to work on this until you're happy with how it looks. Once you are, let's get some foundation on. Go ahead, put that all over the skin. Now, time for concealer. Under the eyes, on the high points of the face, like the chin, the nose, and the forehead. Get that all blended out. Now it's time for powder. Let's set this face. Powder is really important. This will stop things from creasing and moving around. Now, with a dark bluey green color, I'm going to start my contour. Yes, you can use eyeshadow for contour. You just might need to blend it a little bit more. Don't forget up by the hairline. And then now we're going to define the nose with a small pencil brush. Just slowly work that down until you have a nice, cute, chiseled nose and blend everything out. I'm going to further define around the nostril area with the same color and underneath and around the lips. I'm just going for a little bit more dimension here. You can decide where you want to contour. Now, I'm going to chisel the jawline and drag it down the neck as well. With a lighter green, I am going to add some blush. This is going to add a little bit more dimension. This picks up the highest points of the face where the light would catch most, making it more defined. Don't forget those ears. This is a look after all. We can't go halfway. Taking that same green color and a fluffy brush, I'm just going to apply it and slowly blend it out. Again, just making everything more dimensional. Okay, here is the cool part. Take a pair of fishnet stockings and put them over your head. Now, make space for your eyes. It's more comfortable that way. And we're going to imitate some scales. Now, with a flat brush and that bluey green color, I'm just taking a very heavy amount and patting it in. So basically, what we're going to do is leave a void where all of the wired mesh is. And that will create our scales. Now just continue with your transition colors. I have this yellowy green here and we're just going to keep blending it out. This will give us our underwater aquatic look. Once you're done, remove and look at that. Oh my goodness. Now I'm adding a chunky shadow glitter to the top of the lid, connecting the lower lash line to the rest of our work for a cohesive look, making sure to blend. Now it's eyebrows time. There are my eyebrows, some really cool blue color. Adding some highlight because we are shimmery and pretty and setting spray. This will help things from not moving and creasing and give you some longevity. I'm adding some green powder and a shimmery reflective lipstick and then it is time to bring the whole look together. Oh my goodness, this turned out better than I could have imagined. I hope you have fun with Halloween this year, and until next time, take care. Bye!